Hello beautiful people. Today we are going to be doing a training tutorial on the Millionaire Meal Plan. This meal planner is designed to help those of you who want to eat healthier and who definitely want to save more money. A lot of times people come to me and before we get to work on the finances, they're already spending upwards of $500 a month on dining out alone. And so we're going to use the meal plan as a way to get a handle on that so that you're planning your meals in advance um, and doing what you need to do to stick to your budget. It's called the Millionaire Meal Planner because it is literally designed to help you um, set a solid financial foundation by eating out less. A lot of you are just eating away at that financial freedom and we're going to get that under control today. So there are two different methods that I have for meal planning. If you are the type of person who is very specific this is for you. Every day for the week, you get to plan out what you want to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and if you want a snack, you might want to put it in that category too. So for breakfast, you might have oatmeal. And if you plan on having the snack before lunch, you can put that um, here as well. For lunch, you might have a sandwich and another snack before dinner. And then for dinner, you might have tacos and then another snack before bed. You can fill this out however you see fit with whatever meals you want to have Monday through Sunday. Once you've planned out your meals and your snacks, then you can write in your grocery list. So if you're going to eat tacos and you don't have beef, then you'll need to put beef on your list. But if you already have taco seasonings, then you obviously don't need to put that on your list. If you're gonna have oatmeal for breakfast, let's just say there's already oatmeal in the pantry, so you don't have to worry about it. What I recommend is that you look in your pantry first and then plan out your meals from there. This document is 100% fillable, um, but you can also print it out as well, whatever works best for you. Um, and then just estimate the price and come up with the total so now when you go shopping, you have a budget. Now you, all might, you also might want to plan in some cheat days. So um, when I used to work in corporate America, I would cheat on Wednesdays because by then I would need a break. So I would cook on Monday and also because I don't want to pre-cook all my food for the whole week and uh, have to eat the same thing every single day. So normally what I would do is I would cook on Monday and have, I mean, I would cook on Sunday and I would eat that on Monday and Tuesday or some variation. And then I would go out with friends or with co-workers on Wednesday. And then I would also cook on Wednesday and then eat that for Thursday and Friday. And Saturday, I would normally cook for myself at home. So I used Wednesday um, to break up the monotony um, and also give myself a chance to cook again so that I'm not eating the same thing every single day that gets old. You ever see those meal prep people on Instagram and they have like the same exact meal Monday through Friday that they made on Sunday? And it's like, who wants to eat something that's been in the refrigerator for four days? No, thank you. I'll pass. But if you're very specific, you can use this. My problem is on Sunday, I don't know what I want to eat on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or any of that stuff. So I use a little bit of a different method and this might work for you. Instead of being specific about what days I'm going to eat what, I more so think about the overall meals that I want to have. So I might say, okay, this week I'm going to eat oatmeal for breakfast. I'm going to eat fruit for breakfast and I'm going to eat bacon for breakfast. I might have those on my list of things that I want to eat, but I probably don't know exactly when I'm going to eat it, but I'll put it on my list so that when I'm ready for that meal, I have the ingredients available. For lunch, I might put on my list, all right, I'll have a sandwich for a couple days, so I'll get ingredients for that. Um, I usually plan to eat leftovers for, at le for lunch at least one or two days a week, and um, I'll probably come up with another thing that I want to eat for lunch and type that all in here. And then for dinner, I might say, okay, I'm going to have fish and spaghetti, which is a Midwest meal. I might have fish and spaghetti. I might have Swedish meatballs. I might do a vegan meal. Let's say some 
Buddha bowls, which is basically just some veggies. I might have some um, baked salmon and asparagus. I spelled that wrong, but you know what I mean. And then I, so that's enough. Four different dinners, and I'll usually eat leftovers a couple days um, and maybe eat out for one day. So this is a good dinner list for me. And then I'll write out some snacks if I plan on getting some snacks. And based on this list, based on everything that I wrote, I would write down the ingredients that I need to purchase. And this is just going to be things that I don't have. So I keep fish um, in my freezer. So I probably won't need to buy that. I also have spaghetti in the pantry. Um, I have um, beef in the pantry. Um, I'll need to buy fresh vegetables. I have salmon in the pantry. I'll need to buy some asparagus. So I'll need to buy some sauce for the meatballs, which I'll probably make from scratch. So I'll need some coconut milk. Um, and I already have the seasonings that I want. So you go through this process and write down all the ingredients that you would need to make these meals. So make sure you write out your ingredients, all the ingredients that you need. And then um, the ingredients that you don't have that goes on your grocery list so that you can have a budget when you go for the week. And this is the one that I use to prepare um, my weekly meals. And you can use whatever works for you. We also have a basic pantry list here. Like you heard me saying, I have so much of this stuff already in my pantry. I keep my pantry stocked with 100% uh, grass-fed beef, chicken breasts, chicken tenders. I don't really keep chicken wings. Um, I don't keep steak, none of that, none of that, none of that. And I keep fish, so I have lots of fish, chicken breast, and beef. Uh, I keep nuts. I keep crackers. I keep coconut milk. Um, I keep coconut oil, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, beans, pasta. I keep spaghetti and uh, linguine and, and um, tea in my pantry. I'll keep all of this stuff in my pantry. So um, herbs and spices, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, seasoning salt, basil, oregano. All of this stuff is already in my pantry and I like to keep it stocked. So that way, um, on a monthly basis... Um, uh, or on a weekly basis, I'm not spending that much. And then every month, I make sure to replenish. Um, and that helps me keep my budget down week to week. I'm not spending that much. I'm really just spending on ingredients, a couple of ingredients here and there that I don't have, and getting some fresh vegetables. Now, if this doesn't look like your pantry, that's perfectly fine. You get to build your own pantry list. What do you like to have in your pantry? What are the different categories you want to have? Whatever floats your boat and fits your fancy, you can go ahead and write that down here. Um, if you don't want to do all that, then you can use the example that I have for you. And then once a month, I usually go through this list and make sure I have all the things that I need. Um, for fruit and stuff like that, I keep some canned fruit um, just because if I'm having a craving. And also, I might have a bad month and I don't want to have to buy anything. So I'm always putting myself in a position that if I have a bad month, I can always make meals and dessert based on what I have in my pantry. All right, you guys, that is how you use the Millionaire Meal Planner. Use this meal planner to plan out your meals, plan out the days that you want to go out and eat with friends and coworkers. Um, and don't feel guilty about it. As long as you are budgeting for it and planning for it in advance, it is all good. This is going to help you get that spending under control so that you can stay on your budget. Thank you guys so much. I hope that this tutorial is helpful for you and it helps you put um, more of that hard-earned money back into your bank account. Have a wonderful rest of the day, you guys. Until next time, bye.